Grenadians being called upon to exercise more responsible behavior to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Details to this and other stories in the National Report. With the details to the news for Monday, August 17, 2020, I am Abigail McIntyre. The chairperson of the Health COVID Committee, Dr. Bert Brathwaite, is warning that people need to be acutely on guard for any transmission of COVID-19 in light of the decision by many to assemble for Jab Jab last week. During a press conference on Monday, Dr. Brathwaite said people cannot afford to take this virus lightly simply because Grenada has succeeded in keeping the numbers down. If you're having mass activities where people are closely intermingling, that is a recipe for spread of, 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 of the, 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 the virus. And what we will appeal to individuals not to do is to go and even have private um, parties because people can hide away and have private parties and in closed quarters. And that actually has caused death of a number of people in, in the United States. I remember early in the epidemic, where quite a few Guineans died after having a, a, a going to a party in New York, it, um, it was reported. So it's, it's tough, but we have to be prepared not to engage in physical contact and, uh, and the wearing of masks. The wearing of masks is another very important issue. The, uh, to me, the two most important things for us to do is to continue the physical distancing and to continue wearing masks. Acting Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sean Charles says there is cause for concern over the fact that people set aside all protocols in the name of having fun. We are waiting in, in anticipation to see what, what will result of um, all of that activity that occurred over the past week and a half or so. Um, we are uh, hopeful, we are hopeful that, um, you know, we are hoping that we do not uh, suffer setback as is being um, experienced in, in the South. Uh, we saw the measures that uh, were, are being implemented as of today in, um, in Trinidad. Um, it, Trinidad is our neighbor and we are just hoping for the best. But at the same time, we are asking the public, the public to be responsible, um, be responsible in the decisions that they make because it, it, it doesn't just affect you. Um, it might affect one of your loved ones. All right. Um, persons need to be need to understand that sometimes the decision that you take uh, can have far-reaching con consequences. The Ministry of Health continues to strengthen its protocols at all ports of entry to avoid the importation of COVID-19 cases in Grenada. Those were the words of Dr. Sean Charles, acting chief medical officer, while addressing members of the media during a news conference on Monday. Dr. Charles says with Grenada's phased opening of its borders to regional and international flights, there is a constant need to review the protocols in keeping with what's happening regionally and internationally. The COVID situation is dynamic. Um, we are seeing how things are changing um, um, both near and far, all right, in, um, in further regions, more developed regions. And even in our local region, we're seeing um, some of our neighbors having um, small setbacks. And we are hoping that they remain small setbacks in their efforts to um, respond to COVID. And we are looking at what is happening there and adjusting our um, protocols so that we um, do not uh, enter into a situation, um, into a similar situation. 
Numerous questions have been asked about the protocol in place for returning nationals and visitors from the various low, medium and high risk zones. Low risk zones, Dr. Charles says, is where the number of infections within the past 14 days are less than 20 per 100,000. Medium risk between 20 and 90 per 100,000 and high risk over 90 per 100,000. For countries that are in the low risk um, risk uh, category, all right, um, all persons are required to have a negative PCR test um, to enter the state of Grenada, and that test should be done no more than seven days before. But there's a small grouping that is exempt from this, all right, and that is what we call the bubble. And these would include countries like Barbados and Dominica and St. Kitts, and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent. They are currently exempt from this requirement. All right. They are requested to, pre to fill a number of forms, such as um, health declaration, waiver of liability, and public health locator forms. All right. And in the event that a public health official on screening that person at, at, at port of entry um, determines that that person needs further testing. That person will would um, have a PCR test done, and they'll be required to stay in quarantine until we get the result. The government of Grenada has awarded a contract to the tune of $48.6 million to Hanover Construction Company to construct 11 feeder roads across the island. During an exclusive interview with the GIS, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Infrastructure Development, Marina Jessamy, said the feeder road project is critical for the Ministry of Infrastructure, since it's one that many in the construction sector are looking forward to begin. The contract was awarded to a company, Hanover Construction. It is the value of 46.8 million, and 11 routes will be rehabilitated with this. We know we have um, Bailey's Bacolet to La Pastora in St. David. We have Claboni Road in St. Andrews. That is a road that was, um, I visited that road myself. We drive from the junction way to where the last building along that route is Mount Pure, the, the company uh, site of Mount Pure, and I think that will benefit a lot of farmers along that route as well. Um, from Munich to Bacolet Bridge in St. Andrew, we have as number four, Mondelez to Old Wester Hall Road in St. David's. So I think St. David's persons will be very happy. Library Road in St. George, from Willis to Constantine in St. George as well, and that will include two bridges. We also have St. George's Estate Road in St. George, Concord Road in St. John. I know that these people have been waiting for a long time. Other feeder roads to be constructed in that contract include Brothers to Mount Sinai Road in St. John, Belair Road, St. Mark, and from Red Mud, St. Mark to St. Patrick. P.S. Jessamy says Karakou has not been left out, as there are projects to come and stream there in a next phase. People might question why they didn't hear Kariku. We also have, in this program, we have what we call lots. So you plan the, the roads in various lots. And so the, the road for Kariku was identified. But because they will be implementing another project, we have that for when we have the other lots. But we make sure that with the distribution of the road, based on the policy directive we get, that you could see that the roads are in various parishes. So not only in St. George's, not only in St. David's, but in different parts of the countries. And this will create a number of jobs. And so we are very happy to see that we can finally hit the ground running. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Protect yourself and our community from COVID-19. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 70% alcohol. Use a tissue when blowing your nose, sneezing, or coughing. Immediately discard the tissue properly 
and wash or sanitize your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Let's do our part to ensure that each and every Grenadian remains healthy. To stay up to date, visit the Government of Grenada's webpage or the Ministry of Health's Facebook page. For more information, contact the Ministry of Health's hotline by calling 53 Virus. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by the Ministry of Health. Welcome back. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell will address the nation tonight. Dr. Mitchell will address how government is balancing efforts to ensure the health and the safety of the population while taking care of the country's economic needs. The Honorable Prime Minister's address will be broadcast on GIS Channel 22 and the GIS Facebook page, as well as radio and television stations and local media. And finally in the news, the RGPF has recorded a 5% reduction in criminal activities between 2015 and 2019. That's according to Acting Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin. Mr. Martin made that announcement during a recent meeting with Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, and senior officials of the RGPF. He said while it is always welcoming news to see a reduction in the statistics for crime, there are other issues like road fatalities and property crimes that are still of concern. Commissioner Martin added the plan going forward is to firm up and implement certain strategies to help curb these problems. The challenge before us is significant and therefore we as leaders of the RFGPF have a fundamental responsibility to ensure that we appreciate the challenges of this environment and make sure that we are ready to give the leadership that is required to the members of the force to ensure that we continue to keep Grenada safe. Notwithstanding this, Prime Minister, I will make the bold statement to say that as a force and as a nation, we continue to do well. Commissioner Martin says with the support of each member of the RGPF by following the plans implemented, he is confident that they can address the issues in a professional manner. As it relates to this year and as it relates to the incidents of homicide colleague officers, I believe that if we adopt the right attitude, revisit our strategies and adjust our planning, we can turn the tide of these incidents before the end of the year. We do not need to make the narrative of two homicides a month a reality. We must turn this tide around in the interest of ensuring the safety and security of our people. So I am deeply encouraged, gentlemen, that we do have the capacity and there is no question that we also do have the support of a government in this regard. Now for a recap of the top story. Grenadians being called upon to exercise more responsible behavior to prevent the spread of COVID-19. And that has been the National Report. I am Abigail McIntyre. Thank you for joining us.